Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Nate English channel. I'm your chemistry educator Vaseem Butt. I hope all of you are doing amazing, all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, this particular session is for all the NEET 2024 aspirants. As you know, I keep on coming up with such kind of the videos, such kind of strategies which help you out in order to ease out your preparation, right? So dear students, as you almost be knowing, you almost have got around two, two and a half months left till your NEET 2024 examination. And this particular duration of time, right, you should exactly know how to do the revisions and all. How many revisions you have to do and how exactly you have to carry out these revisions, be it your physics, be it your chemistry, be it your biology. So in this particular session, I'm exactly going to let you know how you have to do your revision, right? And I'm pretty much sure you would have seen the thumbnail that is block strategy, right? This is a different type of strategy which I'm going to give you today so that you can score really high when it comes to your NEET 2024 examination, right? So the context of this particular video, my dear students, let me tell you about that. Yesterday, basically, I was just going through YouTube, right? And I saw one amazing, amazing block strategy video made by a teacher, right? Who is very well experienced, who I have been following when I was preparing for my JE examination, right? And I found this particular video, which I'm going to let you know right now. I found the video to be very, very, very helpful for the NEET 2024 aspirants, right? So that particular video was completely in Hindi language. So I thought I'll translate the video because it is perfectly suitable for the NEET 2024 students, right? So I will be translating the same video in English so that all the English speaking students also get benefited out of this particular video, which I'm going to, I mean, out of this particular strategy, which I'm going to let you know right now, okay? So my dear students, as you saw the title here, it is a block strategy, how you are going to carry forward your revision. So over here, I have made three blocks, block one, block two, block three, right? The first two columns are for physics. The second two are for chemistry, one for zoology, one for botany, as per your latest syllabus, right? So my dear students, when it comes to the revisions, basically, how you have to carry forward your revision, okay? See, over here, as you saw, you have got three blocks. First of all, in these upcoming two, two and a half months, you have to complete these blocks number of times, right? More the number of times you do these blocks, better is going to be your rank when it comes to your NEET 2024 examination, right? And each block, each block carries easy, moderate, as well as difficult uh, chapters, right? It is not... It is not something that in a particular block we have kept all the difficult topics. No, right? All the topics in every block are kept, right? So that you can cover them in a lesser time so that you feel motivated so that you can solve the questions and all the topics are linked with each other, right? So my dear students, when it comes to your revisions, basically, right? In physics, you'll start with NLM, Newton's law of motion, right? Then fluids, perfect. You'll be following the strategy row-wise, by the way. You'll be following the strategy row wise. In physics, Newton's law of motion and fluids, you will do first. So you'll cover the theory of these two particular chapters. And once you cover the theory of these two chapters, you'll directly move into electrostatics. You will cover the electrostatics theory, right? First, you'll cover the theory of these two. After that, on the same day, you'll cover the theory of electrostatics. And once you are done with the theory of electrostatics, then you will solve the problems of these two chapters and this particular chapter. Right? On the same day, on the same day, my dear students, on the same day, you will shift to chemistry as well, right? In chemistry, first you will do the theory of your electrochemistry. And electrochemistry, once done, once you are done with the theory of electrochemistry, then you will move into the chemical bonding, right? And once you are done with the theory of these two chapters, then you will solve the problems of electrochemistry and chemical bonding. And similarly, on the same day, you will go for zoology botany as well, right? All these abbreviations, I mean, all these short forms which I have mentioned over here, you can get their full forms in the description box of this particular video. In the description, I'm going to keep all these, all the full forms of these particular uh, short terms which I've mentioned over here, right? So basically, what exactly you have to do? Let me repeat it again. For example, on a given day, you are giving two hours to your physics. On a given day, you'll give two hours to your chemistry, two hours to your zoology, and two hours to your botany right? For the revision purpose. Perfect. Starting with NLM, right? And fluids, 
then go to the electrostatics, then do the problems of this, then do the problems of this. Once you are done with this, go to electrochemistry. With electrochemistry, you will do the theory of chemical bonding, then questions of these two, right? Then you can go to zoology as well as botany. For example, this is the day one. Let's say this is the day one. Or if it is not day one, if it is taking two days, okay, that's not a big deal, right? For some students, it might take one day. For some students, it might take two days. For some students, it might take three days as well, depending on your own convenience. Once you're done with the electrostatics of physics, then you will go to your modern and semiconductors, right? Do its theory, right? Then, my dear students, you will be shifting, you'll be shifting to your capacitor and heat transfer. Do its theory. Once you're done with that, then again, in the crisscross manner, you will be shifting like this, right? But if you look at the first block, this first block carries your 40 to 50 percentage weightage, right? And this has been designed in such a way that it does not conclude, it does not contain only the, only the difficult topics basically, right? It contains easy as well as difficult topics. It's the amalgamation of, the, of, of easy and difficult topics so that it becomes easier for you to cover each and every chapter in detail, right? With, 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 with less efforts, I would say. Perfect. Similarly, my dear students, there is block two. All the chapters are given and, and, and how you are going to proceed to it. First, ray optics. Right, followed by this, followed by this, followed by this, followed by this, followed by this in the crisscross strategy. Right, but again, I'm repeating the same thing. You have to cover these blocks in 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 row wise. I mean, right. For example, this is your row one. It might take one day or two day or three day for some students. Then you will shift to row two. Then you will shift to row three. Then you will shift to row four. And this block three, this is completely time consuming, which I've kept over here. Right. So there will be some students who will be leaving these topics, but if you really want to score high in your NEET examination, right, please and please do not, do not skip these particular chapters as well. Perfect. And let me tell you very honestly, if you are planning to do the revision and if you are following this blockwise strategy, it is going to ease out your preparation. This has been scientifically observed, right? It is going to ease out your preparation. Perfect. Do not, do not take the chapters randomly for the revision for physics. Do not take the chapters randomly in chemistry and zoology botany, right? Just follow this particular strategy block wise. Once your block one is completed, then go for your block two, then go for your block three. And more the revisions you do to each block, trust me, better is going to be your score. Trust me, trust me, better is going to be your score. So please and please do follow this particular revision strategy video, right? With 100% honesty and try to do as many revisions as possible in these particular blocks which are given to you. And again, I'm telling you, abbreviations of all these are kept in the description box of this particular video. Just check them out and follow the same sequence. I hope you got the sequence. NLM, fluids, then electrostatics. Then do the questions of this and this, right? Similarly, chemistry, these two. Complete their theory, then complete their questions. Similarly, zoology, botany, these, these two. Complete the theory, then do the questions. Then, then you can move to the second row, right? Modern semiconductor, theory. Uh, then you have got capacitors, heat transfer, theory, then do their questions. Similarly, similarly in chemistry, uh, atomic structure, periodic table, chemical kinetics, fused with chemical kinetics, right? These two, then they do their questions. Perfect. Similarly, row by row, you have to complete, right? Again, I'm repeating the same thing. More the revisions you do in each block, more the, re more the, more the times you do these blocks, right? Better is going to be your score, right? When it comes to your revisions. Perfect. And if you follow these blocks, it is not going to be difficult for you to do the revisions because all these blocks are perfectly set. All these blocks, they contain easy, difficult, right? And moderate chapters. Perfect. It's not like we have kept like all the difficult chapters in one block, all the, all the easy chapters in one block. No, it is the amalgamation of every, every uh, easy, moderate, as well as difficult chapters so that it becomes easy for you when you go for the revision. And when you follow, I have seen students, my dear students, following this particular strategy for the revision and they exactly did this particular strategy. They exactly followed these blocks. They exactly completed these blocks many a times when it comes to their revision and they scored really high in their NEET examination. So that's the thing which I want you guys to do as well. Please and please follow the same, follow the same revision plan with the same sequence of the blocks. And trust me, you are going to shoot up your ranks in your NEET 2024 examination for sure. Right? This was a very smaller video in which I had to let you know how in what sequence you guys are going to do the revision right? so that everything is retained in your brain properly. Perfect. 
Hope this video was beneficial for all of you. And again, I'm telling you, all the abbreviations and stuff I have kept in the description box of the video. And I hope you got to know how to exactly follow this. How to exactly follow this, right? From hair to hair, then hair, right? In physics, in crisscross manner, in crisscross manner, in crisscross manner, right? And follow the block strategy row wise. Perfect. So that was all from my side in the today's video. I hope this was beneficial. Do let me know in the comment section of this particular video if you want similar sort of videos to ease out your preparation related to NEET 2024 examination. Take care. God bless you all and love you all guys.